In this tips and tricks video, I want to take a look at interference detection. It's a fundamental part of three-dimensional design, finding problems in your designs. But when you work with a lot of fasteners, you can run into a few speed bumps. Let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look. When you press interference detection, you can choose to just run a wholesale interference detection on the entire assembly or choose individual parts. In this case, I'll choose the entire assembly. And you'll notice there's a lot of interferences, but if I go through here and look at these, a lot of these are actually created from what looks to be thread engagement. This is because of how fasteners are created. Fasteners use the maximum diameter, while tap holes use the drilled diameter for CNC purposes. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can possibly clarify this or simplify our results a little bit. One of the first things we can do is create a fasteners folder. This allows us to quickly ignore all fasteners in our design and just find a few interferences. In this case, it looks like the O-ring has a, a specified interference that we actually want in this case. So you can actually choose individual interferences and you can choose to ignore those. And you'll notice that we can always see ignored interferences and we can always choose to show those later if we'd like. But in this case, we've ignored all the fasteners in our design. Was that necessarily the best thing to do? What if there were interferences with a fastener we do need to see? Let's take a look at something that was added in SOLIDWORKS 2013, the Create Matching Cosmetic Threads Folder checkbox. When we choose this option, instead of just ignoring the fasteners completely, it ignores those thread engagements that match. So in this case, we know that this hex bolt matches the thread below it. But what about these other interferences in our design? It looks like we have a few that should be matching cosmetic threads. Well, this is actually the interference detection tool letting us know that there's a problem with the threads and that they don't actually match. Let's see if we can find out what's causing this. If I click on this fastener, we can see that it's an M8 by 1.25 socket head cap screw. If we dig into this part a little bit further, I can see that the tapped hole in here is actually an M6. So the interference detection tool actually let us know that we had mismatched threads. It's a good thing we found this now, and we can easily fix this right in the assembly by right clicking and choosing Edit Feature. In this case, we're going to change the tapped hole to the appropriate size and hit OK. Now, when we exit this part and we run interference detection again, we'll notice we only have four left. What about these bottom two? They look like they actually have an interference, though we've already gone through this process. Well, here's one of the tricks that you need to keep in mind to benefit from matching cosmetic threads, and that's actually how you create your toolbox parts. You'll notice that the top two fasteners have cosmetic threads, where the bottom two are using what's called a simplified representation. This option is chosen when you insert the fasteners, but you can change it at any time by right-clicking and choose Edit Fa Toolbox Fastener. From this drop-down here, simply choose the option for Cosmetic instead of Simplified, and you'll be able to benefit from this. We'll change this in both cases here. Likewise, under the toolbox options, you can choose configure and you can set this to be the default. To do this, choose customize your hardware, choose your specific standard and fastener type that you'd like to change, in this case, the socket head cap screw, and under thread display, simply disable the option for schematic and simplify. This way, when you insert toolbox fasteners, by default, they'll always use the cosmetic thread type. Now, when we show this part again and we run interference detection one last time, you'll notice that there are still two interferences in our design. At any time you're using interference detection, you can right-click on any interference and choose to zoom to selection. This will make it very obvious where the interference is. And in this case, there was a problem with the head of this hex bolt in this handle. If we had just chosen to use the default create fasteners folder we may have missed this but because we chose create matching cosmetic threads folder this op this interference is very clearly visible to fix this in this case we'll simply double click on this part and we'll choose to change the spacing 
Then when we do our update, we can check for interference detection one last time and we can see that we've taken care of all of them except for that O-ring that we had there before. And again, you can always choose to ignore that so it doesn't show up.